So I've been using Windows for over 20 years and have administered over a thousand systems at this point in time. And I use these shortcuts every single day without fail. And they will save you so much time and headache. Uh, so let's get right on the desktop, jump right into my top 10 keyboard shortcuts that every user should be using. Shortcut number one is going to be Windows and E. So on your desktop, if you just hold Windows and E, it pulls up your Explorer. Very easy to get in. You can change all the things that you access on a daily basis. This shortcut is something I use probably the most out of anything on this list. Shortcut number two would be tiling it basically to the left or right. Windows and left, we'll put it on the right. You'll get this prompt and you could easily take this and put this on the right. We're not gonna because this is on my other screen, but you could easily tile it. Let's open up another one. Let's put this one on the right and you can see what it does. But let's say this one was over here and we put it over on the left. You now can select that and it'll auto tile them for you. So just remember the Windows key left or right, depending on where you snap it. Or if you want to just go max size, you can go Windows up to maximize and Windows and down to basically uh, minimize that. And if you press it when it's in window form, it'll minimize it to the tray. The next most used shortcut for shortcut number three would be auto launching your tray applications. Windows and the number. So this would be Windows 1. So if I Windows 1, that's that. Windows 2 would be my Brave browser. Windows 3, Outlook. Windows 4 would be the terminal. All these things will auto launch depending on what we got. Windows 5 would launch into my VS Code. All these things are really easy to launch applications in. Highly recommend this hotkey. Next up, a lot of people still do it this way. Hopefully you're not one of them, but if you are, have no fear. A lot of times they do the control alt delete business. Don't ever do this to get into task manager. Honestly, I rarely ever use control alt delete for anything these days. So a lot of times I use control shift escape. Control shift escape gives me my task manager. There's no reason to ever get into control alt delete again, unless you're like signing out or maybe resetting a password on a domain, those types of things, sure. But for the most part, task manager can be accessed with just control shift and escape to pull it up. For shortcut number five, copy and paste commands and select all. I'm gonna just lump this all into one uh, and this will probably be a couple shortcuts in here. Let's say you have a text file open. This could be Word, it could be anything. If you hold control and A, you select everything, control C, copies, and then control V will paste. So if let's say we open up a new document, we can paste that. And you can actually paste that a couple times and have just a, a massive amount. You can see my scroll bar get smaller as it just becomes a repeat of each. So control A, A, and then just delete. That'll delete the entire document. Just a good, everyone should be using copy and paste and select all, uh, a very common hotkey. Next in our browser, let's say we go to a site and, you know, right now, hey, I'm checking out a best OBS settings for encoding from ePosVox. I was looking for that. Uh, but let's say I was like, you know what? I don't want to. Let's go back. Alt and back on your keyboard will actually take you back on your browser. Alt and forward will take you forward. Alt and back will take you back. A very good key combination to remember when browsing the web. Next up, let's say you're browsing in here. I like to usually browse with my arrow keys once I'm in the Explorer, but let's say I wanted to change read me to read, or I wanted to go and change that again, press F2 and then just type read me. And then you can easily change and edit these files without having to uh, try a left click once to do it. Or sometimes people I've seen them right click and hit rename here. Uh, I just find F2 just so much easier. Just depending on what you're doing, just know F2 to rename a file. And then finally, there is the age old, hasn't changed in years, but you should probably be using it. And that's Alt and F4 to close out. And that is my top 10 keyboard shortcuts. And as a bonus, I will say Control Shift V will actually remove formatting. So if you're copying and pasting from Word or Notepad or whatever it might be, and it has weird formatting, Control Shift and V will paste it without the formatting. I hope all these hotkeys 
help you out. Uh, if you want to reach me, I am live streaming again on Twitch, usually on Fridays, but lately I've been streaming a little bit more with everything being shut down because of the cold weather. Also, I will be uploading these to uh, Odyssey and uh, LBRY. So if you don't like YouTube, you can always watch them over there. And then finally to round this out, I was on a friend's podcast about a week ago, and I'm going to leave a link down below. It's about a 50 minute business podcast. I kind of go over YouTube and some of the revenues and other things that happen with content creation. And uh, yeah, it's a fun podcast. I loved actually talking to another human again in real life. It was kind of nice. And I really enjoyed talking to him. He was an old co-worker from, you know, about 10 years back. I've known him for a long time. But with all that, let me know your thoughts about this video. Which hotkey did I miss? Which hotkey do you use every day? And with that, I'll see you in the next one.